What's up everybody? It's Joe again. I just got back from a show with my cousin Monica and her roommate Chris. We went and saw the Festival of the Silk Road, which uh, initially started out as like an okay show and then went to fucking hell. The reason it went to fucking hell is A, it was the shittiest audience I've ever been part of, and B, <laughs> you, you laugh Chris, but it's true. And B, because the show itself decided to get repetitive to a painful degree. So let's start off with the audience. The audience did every fucking possible thing that they could do wrong. They were taking flash photography, they were taking video, uh, they were talking, they were checking their cell phones, they were unwrapping plasticky, crinkly <laughs> shit. Um, and then the worst part, and the worst part, they... they so it was, it was dance numbers, primarily. Dance is a little bit of music. You get into the dance and people would start clapping, and then they'd get off tempo, and they'd keep clapping, and they'd sort of half-heartedly keep clapping, and it was just, you just want to like fucking punch someone in the back of the head. It's that painful. And then, so it was hosted by like, uh, uh, I guess like an Afghani, uh, cultural community center, and so they had two or three pieces. The problem with that, Two was or three, that's the two? I, I honestly, there was literally three three pieces. The dance moves are very repetitive. It's it's people going in circles, <laughs> like twirling in circles, twirling in bigger circles, and then they'd move into smaller groups and twirl in the smaller <laughs> groups. Now that's fine, you know, for a piece. Okay, not my my cup of tea. But then you get to a second one doing the same thing, and then the closing number wouldn't fucking die. <laughs> I swear to God, so it's, it's like you see the same people in the same dress, and you're like, oh, okay, I know it's coming, twirling. And sure enough, they're twirling, and they're twirling, and they're twirling, and they got a band this time, like a live band. So it's like, okay, it's a little new, it's a little fresh, twirling, and twirling, twirling. And finally, they come to the front of the stage, you're like, ah, the closing number. No, 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 three of them are going to twirl, and twirling, and twirling, <laughs> and they lay flat, their gowns flowing out beside them, like, ah, the end. But oh, no. the music, the music's still playing. The music hasn't stopped. No. And they get back up and they twirl again. Yeah. And then they go down again. You're like, ah, no, the music's still playing. And they get up and they fucking twirl again. It's a, But that's not what really, the audience is what fucking pissed me off. Because as a theater major, I have a, you know, a decent amount of respect for going to theater. And I don't know if this was just people who had never been to theater before or just... Like, oh, God, it enrages me, people. We had three women sitting behind us and uh, a couple in front of us who wouldn't shut up, who would not shut up. And I'm not talking like whispering. People whisper. You know, like, wow, that was really good. That was really crazy. I don't know. Facebook status. They, they talked. Yeah, I updated my Facebook status as soon as I got home. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enraged here, people. I'm enraged. Anyhow, so yeah, I'm writing them a long email because I feel like there's a lot of potential here. But this year, uh, donkey balls, uh, sucking, combine the two in whatever imaginative way you want to, that was the end result. <laughs> a lot of potential, didn't get there. So, 